Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for supporting my other videos. Today we are going to talk about knives. As a professional truck driver, it's your responsibility to do inspection on your truck and trailer unit plus on your equipment. So today I have uh, two types of knives and I'm gonna talk about how to inspect them and which one is better and how to use them properly. The first thing I'm going to show you is straight pipe knife. So it's just a standard. Most of the people have seen this one. There's nothing wrong with it. This one has a diamond at the front, which locks into the winch and give you more, a little more security. And the rear part has a binder lock. If you have uh, if you have been using chains, you can tie them with this part. I'll show you that one too. Um, so how to inspect this? You want to make sure the welding part right here doesn't have any crack. Because if this one had crack, when you're going to tie down, the front part can break. And you'll be in serious to this problem. You can have head injury, shoulder dislocation, and much more. So make sure you inspect for the cracks right here, and you make sure the belding for this part, which holds the the boomer or the binder, whatever you want to call, this is not loose. The belding over here. Is properly done and the front part is not too much curved you see this one is really curved so in comparison to this other one this is straight so if you compare tell me if I can see that both together one is straight the other one is curved so this extender curve is due to not having the entire piece inside the winch to tie down the straps somebody used it just the front part just like this much maybe not going through the winch all the way and having the first hole here and try to squeeze that because you just need one click and you don't have very much room to do it and this is the curve came from more more the front part is curved you have less force here and this can break anytime so make sure you use this knife properly as well which we're going to talk in a while and the second one my favorite is the vent pipe the vent here <laughs> give you extra leverage extra force and it's easy to use it's made the same you have the diamond shape in the front to lock into the winch and you got the rear end for the binder <laughs> with this one the only good and positive thing you can use this one like that and you do this last click and if you having the winch on a certain position you can lock it and you're touching the ground by doing this force you can rotate and go from the upside and then pull down or push down whatever the situation you are involved in to and the same <clears throat> uh, same inspection scenario gonna be here so you're gonna inspect for the cracks on the front end gonna see anything is damaged on the end building and this inside piece so this is the inspection and let's go how to use them properly okay now we have the straps over the plate and we want to bind them in the winch uh, first up is going to the rub rail because that's where you want to save your strap right you don't want anything rubbing against it otherwise they can break 
you losing your freight on the highway. Go through the forest, which you feel a little bit, and you pull the end part upward. And this is all through the wrench. You want to go over the rub rail. You give a couple flakes with your hand. When you feel the force, that's where the snipes come from. You want to go all the way through. This is the hold you want to go through. So there's one here and one on the other side. So they are kind of in symmetry. I don't know if you guys can see through. So we're gonna do go through the whole thing and leave a little bit of room at the back so you're not touching the frame otherwise you'll be blocked here and of course as I told earlier you don't want to have just the front part in See there? Right here. This is where you get the bend when you're going to push on the road. You might break it right here. So you want the entire thing going in like so and leaving room in between the frame and the snipe so you don't get tuck wet the frame that's gonna block you for doing your job. When you figure out where to put the snipe, keep away from your body because if that front piece frame and you pulling towards you, this can fix your hand, back hand, right? And that's a serious head injury. So stay away, try to push with the shoulder and with your body. So you don't want it with your body. Use your stomach. While I was demonstrating how to tie down the strap, I found another reason to show you guys why to inspect your snipe. You see, you guys see this crack? This can hurt you really bad. So make sure you guys looking at it before using every and each time your equipment. So let's continue how to use this knife with the bend pipe now. It's the same method with the bend pipe. You guys go through under the rub rail, go through the bench, and give a couple clicks by your hand. When you feel the force, then you use your knife. Of course, while you inspect it. So, as I said, this one give you more leverage. You can tie it down like that. Stay away from, from the snipe, keep your head away. Open your legs, left foot, if you're righty, have your left foot in front and the right foot in back, open, show the way. That give you more stability on the ground. So if you have them all together, you don't have stability, you might fall facing forward. So, back to how to use the snipe. You got first angle, and then you have the second angle right here. For this one, you can grab the rub rail with your torso. You can lean on the strap, uh, sorry, and lean over the side, push it down. You see how you use your knife? How you inspect it? 
and every time this has been used, even after, just look for the crack. Make your life really easy for the next time. Make a habit because with the colder weather, even a small crack can be very, very dangerous. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video is useful to you guys, especially for the new guys. Um, this knife, for the cost-wise, I want to tell you, it's about five to ten dollar expensive than straight. But this one is very useful. It's handy. The pipe is not safe, in my opinion. You don't have very much of leverage on it, so you have tendency to put to put right here. Here. What I'm saying, avoid to have snipe really high, especially above your head, because that's where you're gonna get seriously injured on your head and you're gonna dislocate your shoulder because you're gonna pull towards you. The first part of my brain, and this will flip out of you. You're gonna put your feet on the wing or anywhere on the deck frame. And that's expensive. Keep the floor. The max on your stomach, your torso high, maybe below that, so you can push. And with the vent pipe, you can turn that and have a different angle. You can get lower. And you can, if you turn around, you can go to the higher. So that was tight. Thanks for watching.